Hello everybody, welcome back. This is what we're gonna talk about. The shortcut is control A. Just gonna click it and we'll get this audio mixer. Now what an audio mixer does is it will pretty much mix all your audios together. So you can have, let's say a background audio and then you can have frogs playing in that background. You could also have birds and everything and you could tweak the values accordingly while they're all playing at the same time. So you could easily adjust everything. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna create a mixer. Now this mixer, we could push the plus button here or we could have added it over here in our project settings. So if we go to, if we right click, go to create audio mixer, creates one for us. And if we go back, we can see we got another one added. So we're just gonna delete this one. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Now with this audio mixer, if we hit play, nothing's gonna happen. What we first have to do is add an actual audio source. So we'll go down to audio and click audio source and we get this audio source. And as you can see, we get an output right here that asks for an audio mixer group. We're gonna not, we're not gonna drag this in, but we're gonna drag in our master or one of our groups. For now, we just have one. I'll show you all these later on. So after that, you could, you've seen that we could add more mixers, but we could also add more groups. And what I'm gonna do is add another group and we can name this anything we want. So I'm just gonna put group A and then I'm also gonna get another one called group B. Now, as you can see that they're all childs of one another. Now this, how this one works is, okay, so the master is the main one. If I turn down the master, everything will turn off. All the sound will turn off. On group A is the parent of group B. So if I turn down group A, group B will also turn down. So that's how that works. So I want to just parent that to the master. So I have group A, group B. If I turn down the master, both these will turn off. So we'll keep on going. Now for this to work, like I said, we would have to output it somewhere. So we'll create two other ones. And for the first audio source, we will just add group A. And then for the second, just add group B. So I have actually downloaded some songs from the Unity Asset Store and they are free. They're called 26 Song Music Pack from Pop Rock Lex and I will put a link down below so you guys can download it if you guys want. And then we're gonna go back and we're just gonna add those songs. So for the master, I'll add, I'll add this house too. For group A, which would be the audio source one, I'll add house six, I could click it. And then for this last one, I'll just add maybe some techno. Now that we have our groups, we could actually hit play. Now, just heads up, sorry if it's too loud. I could actually, we'll drop it down a little bit just in case it's too loud and I'll hit play. Now you guys should see that everything's playing. If I raise it, as you can see, I can't raise it. And for me to be able to edit, I just click this button that says edit in play mode. And whatever you edit in play mode will get saved. So just keep that in mind. I can raise it a little bit. And then I'll just drop it back down. You could drop each one individually. But as I said, if I drop group A, group B will drop. And if I drop master, they both should drop. So eventually you should just stop hearing them completely. Now there's, sorry about that. There's these three little buttons on the bottom. Now those three little buttons is, so you could either solo it. So let's say I just want to hear group A. So that's just group A. Now let's say, I want to hear the masters, but I'm going to mute both of these. So the M is mute and bypass is when you have effects. So let me add an effect to this master group real quick. And hopefully, like I said, it does not mess up your guys' ears. So I could change the low pass, increase it, and then I could also bypass it. And when I bypass it, it does not play that effect. You could even see it got grayed out. So as you can see, I'm just going to remove this. And you could add all these effects. You could add two, three effects, four, five, all the ones you want. You could also, let's say you add an effect here. You could actually send, you could send effects to other effect or to other groups. So let's say I want to send all those effects to this group right here. Oh, I, I put it the other way. So I would want to receive it here. 
receive and then I would want to send it here so, and then as you can see I received from the master and then I, you could adjust it as much as you want right here and yeah for now I'm just gonna unpause it but as you can see hopefully that didn't mess you guys' ears up but as you can see that's how that would work and you can see that everything got saved like I was saying if you have it in edit and play mode everything will get saved now that's pretty much that for the group now for snapshots snapshots will pretty much take a snapshot of where you set these levels at so wherever you set these levels so let me add one this is going to be a snapshot for when the game when game is played so i'll just put played for playing so when the game is playing and then I'll put another snapshot for when the game is paused. So when the game is paused, I want the master, group A, and group B to all turn off. So if I go back to playing, you can see it's back to how it was. If I go back to paused, it's where I left it. So I could adjust it, let's say, to negative 14 instead of negative 18. When I go back, it's the same. Now when I hit play, so you can see it's playing a negative 14. And if I go to edit and play mode, hit pause, it'll drop back to zero. Or it'll mute pretty much. That's what snapshots are. I'll show you how to use them in code in a little bit. And views. Views, if you add it, another view. So this is the main view. This is, let's say you do not, you have many of these little groups. And you do not want to see, you pretty much don't want to see any of them. Except for the master. So we'll have this as master view and then this one we'll just put or we'll put master view down here and then all views so all views we'll be able to see all of them master view we only want to see the master so right here where these little eyeballs are we'll just unclick them and now when we go back to all views we can see everything we'll go to master view we can only see the master and we could always flip these around so there's also exposed parameters and for that all you would have to do is right click on the actual word so let's say you want to expose cutoff frequency and then right here where it says expose click it and when you click it it will appear here at the exposed parameters and you can see it's called my exposed parameter you could change it to cutoff frequency or whatever and then you could change it in script you know in code if you want after all that is said and done i will show you how to add it in code so all you would have to do is you know i'll create an empty game object and then i'll just add this script real quick that i have already made called snap shots and all it has is two parameters one that says when pause one unpause there i mean two variables and then you could just add them so when paused we'll add the paused one when unpaused we'll add plane so when i hit space and I have it mapped to my space bar. So whenever I hit the space bar, it will pause or unpause. So right now it's playing. Now I'm gonna pause it. And as you can see, it drops all the way down. And then when I wanna unpause it, I just click it and it will bring it back up. And that's pretty much it. So I'll show you the code real quick. Now this is the code. All I did was add an audio mixer snapshot. You would have to use this library. So using Unity Engine.audio, then you get this audio mixer snapshot. You add when paused, when unpaused, and then I add this private bool, so when I hit space, it will switch it. So if it's true, it'll go to false. If it's false, it'll go to true. And then it'll just set the transitions accordingly. And that's pretty much it for that. If you wanted to retrieve that parameter, all we would have to do is get the audio mixer. So get the audio mixer. And then somewhere in here, let's say you get the audio mixer, and you would probably have to find the parameter, say the set float, and then the parameter name, I think it was like cut off freak, and then you would set the float. So you would set it to one or whatever. And if you wanted it to, let's say, do that over time. So if you wanted to go from zero to one over like five seconds, all you would do is mathf.lerp, and then you would do from zero that's where it begins to one that's where you wanted to end and then the time so let's say you wanted it over 10 seconds pretty much all you would have to do for the parameter so hopefully you guys found this video useful hopefully you guys learned something new if you guys want to see more videos like this do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button i will be posting more videos 
more videos will be on the way. I am a one man crew so it will take a while but they will be on their way. And we're almost pretty much done with most of these things over here. And once I'm done with showing you all these over here, the animation, the rendering, uh, general stuff, all the little stuff, I think we're just going to go straight to making a game. This help section is just what I'm pretty much showing you right now. Ways of learning. You could download betas, you could check for updates, you could look for Unity Answers, forms, all that good stuff. Get scripting references, all that stuff. So, yeah. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, also for the script, I will put that on my website. So do not forget, I will leave a link down below for my website. Once again, thank you guys.